Georgia National Fair is happening now at the fairgrounds down in Perry. Each year, several animals make the trip for the purpose of entertainment, competition, and education. 41 NBC's Taylor Gilchrist stepped inside the gates to give you a behind-the-scenes look at how it all comes together. Some head to Perry for the Georgia National Fair for the rides, some for the food, and others to see their favorite animals. The fair offers livestock competitions, pet and zoos, and exhibits each day the gates are open. While this year's fair lasts for just 11 days, those participating in events with their animals here in Paris say that preparation is a year-round task. I haven't turned back. I love it. This is what I do. This is my passion. Allie Corzine is a junior at Veterans High School. Corzine has been competing as a showman with pigs and goats at the fair for 12 years. She says she got her pig, Ladasha, in June and got to work immediately in hopes of walking away victorious. You have to teach your animal to respond to your body language, to if you just kind of tap them on the side, they have to learn to go. If you just slightly tap them on the side of their head, then they'll turn, they have to learn to trust you and just go wherever you guide them. Corazon hopes to use her experience to one day become a veterinarian. Next year will be the last that she's able to compete since she'll be a senior. Corazon says this fall tradition will be hard for her to walk away from. This is helping me with the future, but I don't have that much longer and it makes me really sad. Because, I mean, this is all I've known. This has been my whole life. Keith Jones is a volunteer for Southeastern Reptile Rescue. Jones says that he brings a truckload of snakes to the fair each year for entertainment, but most importantly for education. Most of what the general public knows about snakes is probably false. Uh, just from what they've been told all their life about these animals. Jones works to rescue both venomous and non-venomous snakes native to Georgia something he says stemmed from a lifelong love of the reptiles. Jones says that when fairgoers step inside his trailer and read about each snake, he wants them to come away with more knowledge of the medicinal benefits and other positive ways snakes impact ecosystems. If we start hurting these snakes, you know, or they disappear, then there's no telling what we could have missed in technology down the road. So next time you pass by the barns at the Georgia National Fair, try to ignore the smell and see what you can learn about each animal and the people that brought them. In Perry, Taylor Gilchrist, 41 NBC News. And you can visit all the shows, exhibits, and competitions the Georgia National Fair has to offer through Sunday.